Good afternoon, Governor Larry Hogan, State Comptroller Pierre Franco, and State Treasurer Nancy Kopp. My name is William Astro, and I am writing to request that you preserve funding for the Developmental Disability Administration and make zero cuts. I have been a Maryland resident my whole life, and I currently reside in Tacoma Park, uh, zip code 20912. A cut would affect my family and me in multiple ways. I am a preschool teacher with the Ark Montgomery County who relies on this funding in order to run their many programs, including residential, occupational, and early childhood education. In addition, my brother Scott Astro relies on funding for his residential services through the organization Community Support Services based in Gaithersburg. Due to the pandemic, the 4% increase in DDA funding is now at risk. The Ark Montgomery County and Community Support Services allow our family to have certainty in a time of uncertainty and mass confusion. The DDA has allowed me to stay employed and it has allowed my brother to continue to receive around the clock support. More than 17,000 Marylanders rely on community providers for essential staff, so they are able to have an equal chance at being able to live enriching lives in their communities. Without a caregiver to support their adult child during typical working hours, thousands of parents would be unable to hold their own jobs. Parents of children with intellectual developmental disabilities rely on me to give their child an inclusive education with peers who are typically developing. People with intellectual and developmental disabilities and their families cannot sustain any cuts to programs and services we desperately re rely upon to keep our loved ones safe. The direct support professionals are risking their own health and safety to keep our family members safe and, safe and healthy. They must have personal protective equipment and adequate wages as well. There's no room for error with this life and death matter. The leadership in Maryland has a responsibility to take care of people with intellectual and developmental disabilities and the people that support them. I certainly hope that Maryland residents can trust you to make the decision to preserve, preserve funding for DDA and make zero cuts. We know you can deliver. Sincerely, William Astro.